But when I first arrived in Holby, it seems like quite a while ago now. Coming through! Oh. Sorry. I really enjoyed uh, that part of being in the show. You get to be a young doctor and with a character like Arthur who's quite hapless. So you could be a kind of novice in the show, but also a novice in the, as the character in the hospital. Welcome to Kara. I think I felt like the, the new boy for quite a while, which was a nice feeling as well. I think I milked that for as long as possible. <laughs> when you have a character as well loved as Arthur and an actor who we love as much as Rob leaves the show, it's completely and utterly gutting. So when uh, Rob told us that he wanted to go, we had to make sure that we had a really, really stonking exit story for him. So that's it then, unequivocal, cancer, melanoma. So we came up with an amazing exit story. And when I told him, and I uttered the words, and your character is going to die, he had a very emotional reaction. I pulled back and I went, whoa, okay. My understanding is you want to leave, but look, you don't have to go. If you want Arthur's character to survive, we can do another exit story so your character does survive. Why don't you go, go off and think about it? He came back to me and said, I want to do the death story because I think it's a really important story to tell. I knew about it quite a long time in advance, so I had a bit of time to think about it and research and work with the medical advisors. We met before uh, we started filming. You took me through a, a, a lot of things about the disease and illness. Um, how did you cooperate with the story team? Was it all planned out from the start or was it, did it change as it went along? Actually, it's been a very interesting process. It's, it's changed over time. But what's happened is that they have been in touch to discuss particular issues that melanoma uh, can cause, symptoms, for example, and how things change over time. Arthur's storyline became quite complicated uh, and unfortunately it reflects the way that very occasionally melanoma can behave. Arthur's uh, melanoma, he doesn't notice at first. Um, that's quite common, I believe. Why, why is that? Why does he not notice? And, um, yes, larger. and that's because it's on his back. So one of the issues sometimes is when people present, have they seen it before or have they noticed a change in it? But if they're not aware there was a mole there to start off with, then sometimes it's their partners who find it, for example. For the vast majority of patients with melanoma, surgery is curative and the outlook is very, very good indeed. You learn a lot, obviously, about the sort of statistics and the, and the, and the medical side of things, but um, you can't really possibly understand what it's like, obviously, to go through that illness. You just have to do your best to kind of represent it. Lots of memorable scenes, lots of memorable episodes. Going to the seaside with David Ames' character, Dominic, uh, it was just a really fun episode, down by the beach, the whole crew and the cast and everyone together. Yeah, I really sort of cherish that memory. I think my favourite was when he came back as a doctor on the ward and the first thing that happened to him was his patient's toe came off. Well, it's all just wonderful memories really. I was really lucky to get the, the part in the first place and then um, to have the opportunity to do it for as long for as long as I did was great. So yeah, no, all great memories. Thanks to everyone who watches the show and who messages us and tweets us and sends um, stuff in uh, and comes up into the street and says hello. It's really nice to um, know that people appreciate it. And uh, yeah, thank you very much. I'm here now. I'm here.